Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host Jason Turner. I'm available for code reviews, contracting, and on-site training. Now in this episode, I want to play around with the formatting file that is in use by our CPP Doom. Now if you've been watching the streams at all, you might be aware that I get frustrated from time to time because we've got issues with like mixed spaces and tabs and files and um, I've been attempting to not do too much reformatting of the project because I really don't want to risk the possibility of, you know, not really being able to track what changes I made that might actually cause problems versus changes that were in the original source code. But I do find it very frustrating, and I thought that I would at least give it an attempt to create a cling format file for the project. So the that's what we're going to do at the moment. We're going to see if we can figure this out real quick. Now, I am going to run this tool that is called Unformat. I think I actually have successfully utilized it in the past. I'd say there's a very good chance that what I try to do here is going to be um, futile, but we can give it a try. So Clang format has changed a lot in the last three years. It keeps uh, adding features to it. But this is John McFarlane's unformat project. So we're just going to go ahead and do a quick clone of this. Spelled the name wrong. All right, that has been checked out. And I should already have everything that I need installed. I got a lot of Python and stuff installed. so. Let's see, this has been tested up to clean format 3.9. We're probably uh, going to be using clean format 9 or something like that. Let's see what clean format 9 comes up as my default. And I need these things. Hey, third time's a charm, maybe. and pyaml. All right, supposedly this is installed. So let's go ahead and see what this does. I still have my project installed under crispy doom. Um, I should probably change that. This is actually the CVP doom repository. And let's go back and look at the documentation. It should be just the simple Python, sure, Python 3, oh, okay, well, it's just showing my ignorance at using um, Python. All right, so I've got, let's say, four cores that I want to use to this, and Let's let it run for, I don't know, 100 generations. I want to specifically care about these files, the ones that I have been editing. Well, it is in fact running away here. I told it to run for a max of 100 generations, so I will uh, let this run and I'll be back.
All right, so after running what ultimately ended up being what style, um, which is another tool similar to unformat, it looks like this was pretty good. Um, it came up with this thing that's relatively simple set and has some custom brace wrapping based on WebKit style. I, th I think it's um, pretty good. I'm just looking through the various options here and uh, doing some diffs and it looks like a lot of it is just getting rid of tabs, doing some alignment things, kind of pulling everything consistent. The general structure of the code appears to be pretty similar. Um, sorry. Uh, ooh, uh, hmm. That, uh, that's fascinating. One long thing versus not one long thing. Let's, out of curiosity, run our what style. Let's see. What style? I'll get back to the options that I'd chosen before here and choose just the one file. This style is chosen for your clang format. It perfectly matches your sources. Let's see if that's true. Curious what the difference is here. So we're allow short functions in single line, brace wrapping, break before binary operators on not assign. All right, let's see what this one does. Maybe we tried to overfit our match here. Uh, it perfectly matched the sources of the things that I had already formatted. Hmm.
Okay, so I let this run with a few restarts, false starts, for now 4 hours and 45 minutes that I've been recording. Um, ended up with a few different things that were generated. I, I definitely learned that the most important thing here is to give you, uh, to give it a um, big enough sample set without giving it too much because then it takes too long. So this is based on the WebKit style and align operands. Okay. Yeah. Sort includes false tab width is eight use tab for continuation and indentation. Now I am a huge not fan of mixed spaces and tabs, but we want to do the minimum amount of work, uh, minimum amount of changes possible. So let's just see this. Let's do like one of these files and see what kind of changes we made. So the align, the comments aren't being aligned anymore. And the variable declarations are not being aligned. But the rest of the changes here actually look pretty good, I think. Now you can see some of the inconsistencies here that this is fixed up. I'm going to look at enabling some more of these aligned comment kind of things and see if we can get this slightly closer and then make a wrap on this here. I don't know, these might be newer things that um, that the tool that we're using didn't know existed. All right, that's a bunch of different alignment things. Let's run this again. Okay, so this looks a little bit more consistent with what the original style was, but without the tabbing causing lots of random kind of inconsistencies here. Um, this looks pretty good to me. The indent width is four. Um, Okay, so if I have never, then I end up with far fewer changes in this one particular file. Um, so I'm going to stick with that because I really don't like mixed tabs. And it looks like the indent level is approximately four. So let's just see a real quick main.cpp. It has a 2400 line file and we're changing half of the lines. All right, this is why I'm wrapping it up. So if you've been following along at all, now we've got consistent styling. It took a while to run, so be sure that you pick files that make sense that are actually representative of what you want uh, if you're just trying to minimize the number of changes but you can see on some of these things still complete rewrite like 90 percent of some of these files but these are the things that were incredibly inconsistent and very difficult to work with so that's done now we have this consistent cling format file that will be used in all the different platforms so i hope you enjoyed this episode of c weekly i have no idea what length it's going to be when i'm done editing with it uh, it was, I think, five hours total now that I've been recording. Yes, exactly five hours. So um, let's see what happens. Thanks a lot.